Hello, this is Chaplain Man, and I am here at uh, the Sand Hills Veteran Cemetery. I wanted to draw attention uh, to the hundreds and thousands uh, of military personnel uh, who have given their lives uh, in service uh, to their country. Yeah. As you look to the back of you, you can see hundreds uh, of uh, American flags. Each marking a spot uh, where these brave men and women uh, raise their hand uh, and uh, service uh, to their country. Uh, and uh, they have made uh, or they have paid uh, the ultimate sacrifice. I want to give you uh, an, another view of uh, some more of the markers uh, that mark these lives uh, of uh, so many. Right here at Fort Bragg, uh, veteran, Sand Hill Veterans uh, Cemetery, yeah. And if you look over, way over in uh, the distance, uh, you can see uh, a field of American flags that represent uh, so many of uh, these uh, military personnel and I want to be able to turn uh, and capture as much as uh, as we can uh, to be able to show you how significant uh, it is uh, just to come here and uh, to see the many lives that lay here who have served their country and now uh, are laid uh, to rest. So now as you, as you um, take this weekend off uh, from work uh, and you meet and you gather with your family, loved ones uh, and friends, uh, I want you to understand that the freedom that we are experiencing in the United States here today came at a price. That is correct. It came at a price, a price that not a whole lot of people were willing to pay on behalf of their country. But these men and women, and many more, raised their hand, uh, and when the call went out, uh, who will go, who shall I send? Who will go for me? They raised their hand uh, and say, send me. And as we think about uh, what they said, uh, send me, uh, we know that freedom within itself uh, is not free. I want to take an opportunity to pause for prayer even right now. Almighty God, we come in your presence as we stand here on the holy ground where these men and women across the United States uh, have laid down their lives in service uh, for their country. We know, dear Lord, that so many of their families mourn their loss. Uh, and many family members would be here this weekend to find the spot where their loved one has laid uh, and to be able to give tribute uh, to their service. We pray that you may be with the family members because they too uh, have endured a tremendous sacrifice. When we were off to war, they stayed on the front line, at the home front, and they fought the many daily issues of life while their military personnel was out fighting. We pray today, dear Lord, that this would be a reminder of the freedom that you have given us in our own spiritual life uh, and the final and the sacrifice that you also have made uh, on behalf of the world. As John 3 16 says, for God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life we ask for your blessings today in jesus name amen and amen as we were listening to bruce springsteen and he was saying in the canons that um freedom isn't free because uh, it's it's been paid uh, by the burial of a gun uh, i want to be able uh, to share this message with you uh, from uh, the book of uh, um the book of john john uh, chapter 15 uh, and uh, as we get to that particular book uh, i want to be able to share this message with you uh, and uh, this message in John uh, should uh, help us to understand, uh, you know, the whole aspect of laying down uh, your life. Uh, so as we look at John, uh, in the Gospel of John, uh, um, uh, chapter 15, uh, reading uh, from, uh, I, I think it's going to be from verse, uh, from verse um, 13, uh, um through 17 um uh, let's go ahead and find it here as we read uh, the scripture um here today and i want to read it in the kgv which is the king james uh, version and it says uh, greater love hath no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends you are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servant, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit shall remain that whatsoever you shall ask of the father in my name he may give it you these things i command you that you love one another here jesus himself has put a premium on the whole aspect of friendship because he says, uh, greater love had no man than this, that a man lay down his life uh, for his friends. And there is another scripture that says uh, that he's a friend uh, that sticketh closer than a brother. We know the bond of friendship and how strong it is. I am thinking of Jonathan and David. They had such a bond in friendship uh, that not even Jonathan's father could have come uh, between uh, him uh, and David. Uh, and uh, the, the Bible right here, as Jesus was speaking, put uh, a lot of premium on the whole aspect of friendship. Uh, and it says friendship is so critical uh, that uh, one can lay down his life for his friend because his friend means so much. Now I've heard that parents have said that they would take a bullet for their children at any day and at any time. As we think back on the, the shooting in Texas just a few days ago, um, uh, I saw a video of parents uh, standing on the outside of the school uh, ready for action uh, but they were prevented uh, by uh, um, uh, the officers uh, from going in. They were ready to charge uh, that shooter. They were ready to give their life uh, for the sake of their children. And uh, we, we know that's what parents do because the love of a parent to a child is so great that they're willing to make a sacrifice. So here we have the love of a friend and now I've just told you the love of a parent to the child. But 
What about uh, the love of a soldier for his country? What about the love of an airman for his country? What, uh, what, what, um, uh, um, what about the love of a sailor for his country? What about the love of a marine for his country? What about the love of a reservist for his country? Yeah. What about the, the love of those who serve in the military regardless of uh, their branch uh, of service, uh, whether they're Coast Guard uh, or whatever branch of service uh, that they might find themselves serving in. Uh, what about their love uh, for their country? Uh, let me say to you uh, that when uh, you put on this uniform uh, and you raise your hand uh, and say, I will serve, uh, you are saying one or two things. Uh, you're saying that you're putting your life on the line uh, regardless of the circumstance and the situation uh, and you are ready to make that ultimate sacrifice uh, whether it's in training whether it's in deployment uh, or whether you're stationed uh, here in the united states or abroad it really doesn't matter it's that sacrifice uh, that you have already made a decision uh, you know with yourself and with your family that you're gonna make uh, and as a result of that as we look around uh, we can see the sacrifices of so many here uh, as they lay here with only a marker to indicate uh, that they serve uh, as I go further back uh, I am looking right here at this marker that says uh, First Sergeant, uh, U.S. Army, yeah. and uh, his name is Henry J. Henry W. Jackson, and uh, it tells us uh, that um, uh, he was born in uh, the 29th of May, 1930, uh, and died uh, November 19, uh, 2013. What? a remarkable life uh, and what a time of service uh, that this first sergeant uh, has given uh, to his country yeah. let me say this uh, when we are talking about giving up your life uh, this is not an easy matter this is not an easy decision uh, but if we don't do it who will uh, there was a time when we had a draft uh, and each and every one of us uh, as uh, a citizen uh, of the United States uh, had the opportunity to serve, uh, whether you are rich or poor, whether um, uh, you, regardless of your family background, uh, whether you're educated or uneducated, you could have raised your hand uh, and register uh, to serve. Uh, but since they did away with the draft uh, and now uh, it's a voluntary service, uh, we find uh, that uh, very few of uh, the rich of our society uh, are serving today. Yeah. Many politicians and their family have never served, uh, but yet uh, they still want to run uh, this country. And I'm not saying that you cannot run this country uh, if uh, you did not serve, uh, but I'm saying uh, that because you serve, uh, you understand the sacrifice uh, of those uh, who have who have paid uh, the ultimate sacrifice uh, with their lives. Uh, Jesus says, "No greater love than a man has uh, than he lay down his life for his friend." But Jesus went a little further. He not only laid down his life for his friends, uh, for his disciples, uh, but he laid down his life for everyone. If you look at John 3 16 it says uh, for God so loved the world that he gave uh, his only begotten son uh, that whosoever believeth in him uh, should not perish uh, but have uh, everlasting life uh, when we examine when he says he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth it means uh, everyone it's all inclusive uh, and he's talking about uh, those uh, who are for him or against him, uh, those who love him or hate him, uh, it really does not matter. So you see the difference uh, where sacrifices are concerned. 
Some would be willing to sacrifice for their children. Some would be willing to sacrifice for a friend. Some uh, would be willing uh, to sacrifice even uh, for a neighbor. But uh, Jesus himself uh, made the sacrifice uh, for anyone uh, who believe uh, in him. He says, henceforth, you, he says, you are my friend in verse 14, if you do whatsoever I've commanded you. So Jesus is saying uh, that if we obey his commandment, uh, the sacrifice that he made uh, would be for us. Uh, if we believe in him, uh, the sacrifice he made uh, is for us. Uh, I've served 29 years uh, in the army uh, and I know of the sacrifice that I've gone through and my family have gone through uh, and the deployments uh, and sometimes being away uh, from home uh, for 15 months uh, and sometimes uh, three years uh, on uh, an assignment uh, and you only get to come home uh, maybe two or three times uh, during uh, those uh, three years. Yes, I know of that. Uh, and so many uh, who, lay, who are laid here to rest, uh, they also know of the sacrifice uh, that they have paid uh, on behalf uh, of uh, this country. Uh, and it was Jesus uh, who was telling us more about the sacrifice uh, because he says, I have, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, hallelujah. He said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Uh, well, you see, uh, Jesus uh, loves us uh, regardless. It really does not matter. Uh, it really does not matter of our faith, uh, our background, our life, uh, or whatever it is. Uh, he said, I have chosen you. Uh, and because he have chosen you, he have chosen to die upon the cross of Calvary for our sins uh, so that we can be delivered so that if we have to be laid to rest uh, whether here or anywhere we know that our lives uh, are not in vain as we think of uh, this memorial weekend think of the lives uh, and the sacrifice that is represented here Yes, I know a lot of you are going to be meeting with friends and loved ones and family and you're going to have your barbecue and your cookout and your music and your laughs. But behind of all of that, uh, remember the sacrifice. Remember the sacrifice of these men and women. Remember the sacrifice uh, of those uh, that stood in the trenches. Uh, remember the sacrifice of those who answered the call. Uh, remember the sacrifice uh, of those whose family uh, were torn apart uh, because uh, they were willing to serve, uh, because they raised their hand uh, when the question was asked, uh, who shall I send? Uh, who shall go for me? Uh, they raised their hand. Uh, and uh, they say sent me yeah i hope today uh, as we look around uh, as we as we uh, see these flags uh, that mark a life uh, that we will understand uh, something uh, about this service uh, i want to challenge you uh, those of you who are Wherever you might be, whether you're in Kentucky or North Carolina, I, I want to challenge you this weekend to find a, a military base uh, somewhere. And I know there's going to be one around somewhere. And I want you to take the time out uh, and uh, just walk through uh, the, that military base. Uh, and you will see these flags and this weekend. Some uh, may have reefs. Uh, because there's an organization that, that's called Reef uh, Across America. Uh, and they have laid uh, a reef uh, at uh, the tombstone uh, of those who have served. Uh, and I'd like you to take some time out and pause and say thank you to those who have made uh, the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, so say not only thank you to those who have made uh, the sacrifice, uh, but thank you uh, for those uh, that are still serving uh, today. Yeah.
And as we close uh, this message, uh, I want to close uh, with the fact uh, that Jesus himself uh, made uh, that sacrifice uh, on our behalf. Uh, and because he made uh, that sacrifice uh, on our behalf, uh, we have uh, the freedom uh, to serve him uh, in spirit uh, and uh, in truth. Uh, yes, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, he set the, the example uh, of surrendering his life, uh, of giving up his life, uh, of letting go of his life, uh, and so that uh, we can have life. Uh, the Bible tells us that Jesus said, I've come uh, that they might have life uh, and have it more abundantly. Yeah. Which means uh, that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, has given us a quality of life, uh, of freedom uh, and worship uh, that we would not get anywhere else. Uh, just like these men uh, and women that are laying here today, yeah, give us a freedom uh, that we live here in the United States uh, and have uh, that freedom that no other country can boast about. Uh, so as we close today, I pray uh, that you may understand uh, a little bit uh, of service. Uh, you may understand uh, a little bit uh, of uh, what uh, these men and women uh, has gone through uh, in service to their country. Yeah. And uh, I pray uh, that you will pause uh, and say thank you, not only to them, uh, but say thank you to Almighty God uh, for the sacrifice that he has made uh, for our sins uh, so that we ourselves uh, can be free uh, and uh, the fact uh, that he delivered us uh, from uh, sin uh, and shame uh, and uh, the destruction uh, of hell uh, and i tell you oh, oh what a joy it is uh, for us to know uh, that our lord and savior jesus christ uh, stood in the gap uh, for us uh, hallelujah i am glad uh, that he stood in the gap for us uh, Hallelujah. It stood in the gap for us. Uh, and we can rejoice of the freedom that comes only from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, may God bless you uh, richly.